Well, hello there, human to be earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it. So welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be doing a video all about grips, everything you want to know about grips, uh, and especially the best grip for spraying, full auto spraying. Now, it'd be great if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of videos like this, and it really upsets me when I put all this effort in and come up with new and thoughtful ideas and grubs don't even see them because no one's liking and sharing the videos because I'm boring. Uh, anyway, what I want to talk about is we're going to start with the spray pattern thing. Everyone does spray patterns, okay? We've all done this and it comes from the PC variant of the game, really. This is, you know, your old wacky jacky shroud. Everyone spraying up against a wall, chopper, you know, Dr. Pauly, and then talking about what this spray pattern means and how it affects the gameplay. This is the spray pattern I did today, right? Very stock standard, M416, five bursts, Doing that, what do you get? This is what I really don't like about this. When you do recoil tests like this, it diminishes the value of vertical recoil control. I am a long proponent that horizontal recoil control is more important than vertical. And it is, for the most part, until you start spraying at extreme range. The way we do those tests is we let the gun just ride up and we take that virgin kind of unabridged recoil spray pattern and we talk about it but if you do that at 50 meters this is just 50 meters with the 3x right this is what happens like the gun goes absolutely everywhere you can see the first part of this spray it starts rising up and then i'm going to pull it back down and if you just let it go clean it's going to go up two stories in the air so what i'm putting out there into the universe right now is that the further away you are from your target the more important it is to control vertical recoil okay sounds sensible secondly let's talk about the fact that even the worst recoil profile in the game like the mark 14 you can control that if you get your sensitivity and everything set up so this has no grip on it you can't make the recoil any better but if you have excellent sensitivity settings from spending time on the range and actually working on it then your recoil is controllable if you can control the mark 14 without a grip at all and good sensitivity then why do you even need to worry about what grip you're running on a 556 ar for full spraying this is a scar l with no grip and a holographic sight. This next clip is going to feature a Scarrell with no grip and no sight and sprays down the length of Picardo Arena. So why is this a video about grips and Bushka? Glad you asked because I want to talk to you about that. I want to talk to you about the current meta. If you've watched PMCO, the current meta for nearly all the teams is that they will run a whole bunch of M416s if they can get them or Scar L's or whatever they can get. And when they actually have to laser a team at long range, they will, instead of just standing there and shooting like this, and you can see the recoil patterns absolutely everywhere, they will lie down on the ground and the recoil pattern goes with a half grip from all over the place to like ridiculously good. And the reason I'm using that wall there particularly, if I show you again, is that red line is about the height of someone running's head. So when you're firing at range uh, and you're trying to do it standing up, you've got to really struggle and work to keep that spray pattern down. Yet if you lie down, uh, that's your head height you're aiming at, bang, like you can, mu it's much easier. Um, you also reduce that by crouching. However, like you can see the difference between the first two shots, even with an M416 running um, a whole bunch of grips and compensators and things. There's a big difference between those first two shots. So the grip is great, um, but each situation requires a different grip. If I am running a CQC weapon uh, as an up close and personal, I am running a thumb grip or an angle grip because I want an ADS. And those two grips have the the ADS bonus. That's their that's their big up in terms of running them on a weapon. Uh, if you're running a barrel M762, you want to run a thumb grip and a red dot. Those two things give you the highest ADS speed bonus that you can get in the game. Uh, one of my favorite grips in the game right now, uh, which I will run if I'm running, and you can see I'm on Miramar, I'm running a sniper rifle and an M416. So I need my M416 to be good at close range and at long range. Well, I'm running the angle grip here. 
it gives you a really good ads bonus for your close range cqc stuff if you want to put your red dot on uh, and it gives you a good recoil control bonus for your long range stuff and when you pull into a compound like this with an angle grip and you need to ads really really fast then boom you can ads really really fast you'll see in this clip i'm using a thumb grip and it's fine it's absolutely grand if the harder the recoil is to control on the weapon the more you have to worry about your grip selection the further away you are using the weapon to spray then the more you have to worry about your grip selection but there are a lot of other things involved in this there's that's like a thumb grip there's no problems with controlling a thumb grip and m416 is just a walk in the park to control the recoil on uh there's so much more to all of this than just the the grip um you'll see in this clip i'm going to crouch and that's huge but i'm also using a vertical foregrip and it's hard to control the recoil but one of the things is i'm going to slow this down when you actually spray the reason you're spraying is you're throwing volume at the problem i've got 40 rounds to get basically four or five hits and if a couple of them are headshots and it might only be three hits required and you can see those headshots are huge. Keeping the gun at the same level of the guy's head is more important than just controlling the vertical recoil because it's that vertical recoil being kept down that allows me to get those headshots. That was with the vertical foregrip, which is the best long range spray grip in the game. This is the vertical foregrip. They are absolutely gorgeous long range sprays. It's so easy to spray with the vertical foregrip at range on an M416. So what's the best grip in the game for you? Well, a huge part of that is your play style. If you like to spray at extreme ranges and you don't like running bolt action sniper rifles, which is the case for so many of the gyro players out there, then you're gonna run double AR generally. And that means that you're gonna be able to run a vertical foregripped up M4 on one slot and in your other slot, you might run a barrel M762 with a thumb grip. If you like sniper rifles, the best grip in the game for you might be a half grip or an angle grip because it allows you a little bit more of a variety in terms of your spray patterns. These last two sprays here are, are both half grip sprays. I mean, this is half grip spraying. You can certainly do it like as long as you have the right kind of equipment. People say the light grip sucks for spraying, but if an M4, you can spray with any. This is a light grip spray at a really decent range at the back of mill base while I'm standing up. So, I mean, I'm not even crouched down here, which is indicative of how easy it is to spray with an M416. Now I'm going to talk to you about the grips themselves. Just a quick overview. This is the most versatile of the grips, the light, the angle grip. It's, it's completely capable of spraying at range. It's very, very good for ADS speed bonus, which is brilliant if you want to use it for CQC situations. And that allows you to run one gun with one grip that can cover off on a variety of different engagements. The thumb grip, which is really geared towards CQC with a barrel or uh, anything that you need to use like a, an up close and personal angry pills kind of gun uh, and it still does give you some recoil reduction at range so it's it's a little bit versatile but it's not as versatile as the angle the vertical foregrip which is brilliant at range and is also very good on some guns that have excessive recoil profiles like the m762 um, it's more geared towards long range though which is very, very important in the current meta where spraying is everything. And I, I don't really love that, but it's what it is. The half grip suffers a little bit from not being outstanding in vertical recoil reduction, but is brilliant in that 25 to 50 meter range. And really is a grip that I will tend to run if I'm specializing and I can't find a thumb or an angled. Uh, it's the best for that CQC stuff. The, the horizontal recoil reduction is excellent and the light grip which for me is far more geared towards dmr work and tap 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 ruining your life away but that doesn't mean you can't use it you certainly can it's just not going to be as specialized and successful as those other grips are so i hope that was good for you guys i hope that taught you a little bit about grips and about how it's a holistic thing it's not just what it says on the packet it's got to do with your technique like lying down crouching uh, if you're on the move, if you're shooting at stationary targets, 
Uh, if you tap fire and all that, there is a whole different kettle of fish, but this is more geared towards spraying, which let's be honest, is the meta in the game right now. Even if we don't love it, it's what we've got to deal with. Uh, and remember, sensitivity is everything. You've got to get your sensitivity settings right. And you've got to really understand um, what scopes you're going to use and what situations you're going to be in. And do you like bolt-action rifles? Because if you do, then you really need to gear your grip selection towards that kind of a loadout. I'm Bushka. Please like the videos. Please subscribe. Uh, it would do me the world of good to see more people turning up on the channel and having a kick on the chat. Until next time, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.